with another video welcome to my channel shortcut cooking with lynn before we get started make sure you like comment share and subscribe make sure you ring that bell so that you get those post notifications for when we drop a video today we have for you parmesan chicken and shrimp let's get started let's get into our video For our Parmesan chicken, we have our onion powder and garlic powder. We have celery seed. We have a little red pepper seed. We have some salt and some parsley. We have eggs. We have two cans of unsalted tomato sauce. We have a can of diced uh, tomatoes, unsalted. We have a linguine, that's the pasta I chose to use for today. And we have our Italian breadcrumbs. that we already have sitting in seasoning. Just some, uh, a little onion powder, garlic powder, and pepper. And then we have our chicken breast. We bought nice, um, thin trim chicken breast. That way we don't have to do a lot of pounding and cutting. You know, this is shortcut cooking with men, so we want to do it the quick way. But the first thing that we're going to do is get our sauce ready because our sauce can be sitting in the seasonings while we are cooking everything else. So I have drained off most of the liquid from the diced tomatoes. So we're gonna put those in. And we do have a little uh, olive oil in the pan. So we added in our diced tomatoes. Now we're gonna add in some minced garlic, which is one of the ingredients I forgot to tell you guys about. Just going to add in about a teaspoon and a half of minced garlic. And we're just going to get that oil nice and flavored. And we're not going to cook this for long. Um, just a few minutes to get that oil nice and flavored. And then we are going to add in our sauce and our other seasoning. It smells so good already, guys, and we just started. I'm okay, gonna let that sit for just a minute while we get our sauce ready. this to sit long is because when you cook garlic for too long if you burn it your food can come out with a bitter taste and that is not what we want so we are only cooking it for a few minutes so make sure you constantly stir To use the uh, dice can tomatoes you can always cut up a tomato and you're going to do the same thing that we did with the diced tomatoes you want to add them in first with a little olive oil and the uh, minced garlic or fresh garlic okay. so now we're going to add some of our other seasonings 
We're going to add our onion powder and our garlic powder. Our parsley, our salt, and our red pepper seed. And our celery seed and our black pepper. We are also going to add just a pinch of salt. Not enough to make it sweet. We don't want our sauce tasting like a dessert. But we are going to put the um, sugar in because it balances the acid from the tomatoes. So we are going to add just about a teaspoon of sugar. And then we're gonna let this sit while we do everything else and let it simmer, let all those flavors marry together. And we're gonna add one egg to our shrimp, which will just help our um, breadcrumbs to stick. And we're using Italian breadcrumbs, but we are using pink, the panko. Italian breadcrumbs. You just want to make sure we get that egg all over every shrimp. And like I said, it's just a coating to make sure that the breadcrumbs stick. And I like to do it this way sometimes with shrimp. It just makes it less messy when you're going from your egg batter to your breadcrumbs. Now we are taking our shrimp that we have put in our egg batter and we are going to fry them. Remember the shrimp does not need long. Um, shrimp is usually just a couple of minutes on each side and remember these are also going to go into the oven so we really don't want to um, you know leave them in too long. Because if we do, we'll have rubbery shrimp. And as I always say with shrimp, that is not what we want. Now we are going to put our chicken in. We added some salt and pepper and some, not salt, we add a garlic powder, onion powder, and pepper to our chicken breast. We're going to dip it in our egg batter. And when you're dipping it in the egg batter, make sure you kind of drain it so you're not putting too much into the breadcrumbs. Then we're going to put it in our breadcrumb. And put it in the pan. Same with the breadcrumbs. Make sure you kind of Shake a lot off. And put it in there. And these are going to take probably about five minutes on each side. Don't worry too much about them. You just really kind of want them to brown because they are also going to go in the oven. And they'll finish cooking in the oven. So 
our chicken is done, our shrimp are done. So now we'll start setting up our chicken and shrimp parmesan. So the first thing that we're gonna do is put a layer of sauce. chicken first and then we will put a slice of our cold cheese And then after that, we will add more sauce and more cheese and just keep building until we are finished. Preheat your, preheat your oven at 375 and this is going to cook for about a half an hour uncovered. So here's our finished product, our Parmesan chicken and shrimp. And we have some linguine on the side. 